Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. Still a second day of break in both the Trevor Milton and Thomas Barack trials. Uh, we'll get to that in a second, but yesterday we wrote a story about Deutsche Bank. Yes, Deutsche Bank. Uh, they were sued some time ago. We covered it initially, citing their business with uh, Donska, Estonia, uh, ultimately Russian oligarchs were added, but also Jeffrey Epstein, noted global pedophile, good friend of the United Nations, by the way. He, he took the UN community to a play about Mana Ewell and Terrier Larson. In any event, Deutsche Bank is proposing to settle the case for $26 million without any admission of liability, of course. And they seem to also be government cooperators in another case, but check it out. That's on Inner City Press. Now, in the Milton case, uh, we're getting toward the defense case, and Brad Bondi, the one of the four lawyers for Trevor Milton um, from Cahill, has uh, submitted uh, a, a motion to get at least def eight defense exhibits uh, included. We're going to be writing a story very quickly about that from inside the courthouse. And uh, Thomas Barak, uh, third day in a row the trial is off. We're still waiting for some response from the uh, uh, clerk of clerks slash district executive over there. But in the interim, we can say that the defense there is trying to exclude uh, an expert named Hoffman. Uh, they they, they cross-examined the initial expert who was talking about UAE positions on Libya and Egypt and, to some degree, natural gas. This is a big problem. This is an Achilles' heels for the UAE. Uh, Qatar has more. Qatar is smaller. Having just covered the, the, the uh, UN General Assembly week from the outside, banned by Antonio Guterres, good friend of uh, all of the dictators here named, and pedophiles, um, I can say that it's interesting that the UAE had to do a right of reply to Iran about some islands. Um, Qatar didn't say anything, and their, 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 their foreign policy is as controversial. They punch above their weight in the UN. I feel like the UAE is, is the $1.3 trillion sovereign wealth fund, and yet they're still hiring Thomas Barack and trying to send trolls against an inner city press uh, writing about the trial. But we will continue on all fronts, including the United Nations, to be continued.